What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Momo from Doc Bobby Jacobs. And today I want to show you how to zero gap your clippers. And if you have like a wall or KMA, this is the right video for you. So let's get started. So I have this KMA 1987 and I want to zero gap them. And uh, you, need a, you need a screwdriver. So unscrew these two hair, uh, screwdrivers from the hair clippers and on the somewhere safe so that you don't lose it. When you come back, I'll take them off, take these two blades off. So how the hair clippers work is that there's a bottom blade and a top blade, right? So the bottom blade is the one that actually moves left to right and then it cuts the hair using using the space that's given by the top blades you know the top blades just stays there and because the bottom blades moves left to right it cuts the hair so that's the thing so the bigger one is the top blades and bottom blades is the small one take them off brush the hair clean up so that you can put it back together and you can cut the hair you can get those brush from like a dollar store or like Walmart or anywhere, basically any cosmetic store, beauty shop, wherever, or you can even get it from Amazon. Um, just, you know, it's nice to keep everything clean every time. So yeah, you know the drill. Okay, so after you clean them, uh, put your adjustable lever to the clothes, which is, it is placed uh, diagonally to the hair clippers, as you can see. And put your bottom blades, the small blades, uh, make sure you put it in the right direction, right face. Yeah, you put it in the right direction. And then I'm gonna put the top blade over and align them. But then you don't have to worry about gapping and all this blade alignment yet. You just have to Put, it, put them together and just uh, screw them a little bit, screw them together and tighten up a little bit, tighten enough enough so that you can still adjust the blades by hand but with a little bit of force so it doesn't just move around but also at the same time it's not too tight that you can't move the blades to adjust it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. When I say zero gap, it means, it doesn't necessarily mean that two blades are so close to each other that it cuts, it cuts too sharp. Because when these two blades are so close to each other, it actually cuts the skin and it really irritates the skin and hurts the customer. So what you wanna do is you wanna leave a little bit of gap, I would just say very, very slightly. like. As you can see, you can see a tiny space between bottom and the top blades. You want to leave that space and make sure this space is consistent from left to right, right to left. So it doesn't, it's not a slanted, it's it's parallel. It's very a horizontal, parallel, whatever, whatever you call it. You want to keep them like that. And when you, when you think this is the right one, this is the right space, you hold it, you hold the top blade, as hard as you can and screw them together. Screw them as tight as possible. And this is how you use air gap. What I always do after zero gap in the hair clipper is to test it on your arm or like a sensitive part of your skin so that when you cut someone's hair it doesn't actually irritate the skin or you know cuts the skin or something like that so this is important as well make sure you do this and yeah that's about it make sure to put oil so that you can use it and it doesn't burn up burn up the blades And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, share with your friends, and I'll see you next week. Peace.